By the mid-1980s, disco had left the mainstream, but dance clubs continued to attract people who chose to express themselves outside of strict masculine and feminine gender norms. As a younger generation began to assert their sexual and gender identities, many were at risk of prejudice and violence, especially young people of color. In big cities like New York, the underground dance scene became a safe haven for those looking for a place to belong. This subculture sort of grew out of nowhere to where these kids could find the validation they're looking for. This ballroom culture was built around the idea of houses. Houses are chosen families in this community. Often, LGBT kids are exiled by their families. Well, who takes you in? The houses. You can be anything, and your house will accept you. Having found a sense of family within the drag ballroom culture, many sought the freedom to present themselves to the world at large. The ballroom culture says, look, this man can look as beautiful and as femme as a woman just living the fantasy, living their dream. It was Ronald Reagan's America, you know? It was the American of dynasty, and yet the closest maybe you could aspire to was at four in the morning in Harlem to be that thing. When you become the image of your own imagination, I think it's the most powerful thing you can do.